Welcome to Freshly for Animated. In this case, we wanted to have the pedals control the legs. And to achieve this, we had to break the typical smart magnet rig logic for a rig structure where either the pelvis or the torso in general is the master parent. What we have here are actually two rigs. Let's load them and turn the colorization on so that we can actually see the chains in color. The first one, this is the upper torso with the master parent uh, here and two IK chains for the pinned hands on the handlebars. The second rig is this one. I'll just uh, rearrange a little bit so that it's more clear what we're looking at. Okay, so the master parent are the pedals and then we have the leg chains with pin defectors here in the pelvis. It's these two and then as children to these legs are the feet but what's uh, going on here with this element so we have gravity controllers here for the feet so this one controls this foot and this one controls this other foot so if i put them far away there will be less movement in the feet but feet aim at these controllers and if I put them here and rotate you'll see there will be more movement in the feet so how is that thing achieved well we have an extra element just an invisible element just here and these two form an IK chain so let's enter here and look at what we have. We have just a shape with 100% alpha. And this shape with its uh, center marker and magnet target is actually the second element in the IK chain. Why do we need this? Because we would like to have a gravity pin. And the only way to have a gravity pin is to have an IK chain. So we have this dummy object here to make this a chain of two elements and here for this effector we also have given it a hard joint so the joint constraints are 180 and 180 this results in feet always pointing toward the effectors let me switch the colorization off and look at it again you can see it looks very convincing and here we've brought the two rigs together we actually have one rig let's look at it let's look at what it does it's more of an experiment rather than a practical solution of anything but you can see as i turn the pedals there is some movement in the upper torso as well there is a gravity pin for the head and the torso also responds to the turning pedals. Now let's load the rig in the a smart magnet rig panel and look at its structure. The legs are exactly the same, but what we see here is that we have attached the pelvis to one of the legs. If I control click on the nodes, we will get the nodes uh, selected. So these are the upper leg nodes and this is the pelvis. So it has become a child to one of the upper legs and then everything flows from there. Let's switch colorization on so that we can see the chains. The IK chains for the legs are clear from the previous example feet are other IK chains with the dummies if I control click on the nodes we can see the dummies here selected 
and then we have the pelvis as an FK element and then we have more IK chains. Now one IK chain is this one, the upper torso and the head controlled by this gravity pin here. And then we have these two IK chains which are the arms. Plenty of IK going on. And how do we achieve the actual movement of the torso? It's done by having slightly offset magnet targets here. So this is the magnet target for the pelvis. The pelvis is a little offset and it keeps actually moving as we rotate. The pedals. I doubt that there is much practical application in those uh, offset magnet targets, but it was fun and interesting to explore the range of possibilities that the smart magnet rig system can offer. Freshly Flanimated animated.